Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome to Halloween day. <laughs> and as you can see, we are in a magical forest. And I wanted to give you some updates and thoughts about this whole 2022 no buy or low buy year. By the way, I hope that the water, the sound of the water is not too bothersome. I'm also holding you with my phone, with my hand because I didn't plan ahead and bring a tripod with me. <laughs> this is just a sitting down with you because I could hear your call. You were curious perhaps and wanted an update on um, this no buy or low buy journey. Side note, oh my gosh, um, I've been doing those no heatless curls where you like take a, a belt of a robe or something you know like a like a fleece robe you, put, you take your belt and you drape it here and then you just like wrap your hair around it like this and you can either sleep in it or you know you can put it up for like an hour or two and it curls your hair that is amazing that's one thing that I've discovered this year <laughs> um, but anyway low buy or no buy year thoughts and just updates so I have changed so much this year oh my gosh I've grown so much and thank goodness that every year we grow we don't know that we grow um, we don't know that how we're changing we don't see it but for those of us that are on YouTube that you know make videos and whatnot um, you when we watch our videos back and kind of see who we were a year ago or two years ago or three years ago boy do you realize that we do change over time and that's why it's important that we're going upwards <laughs> that we're trying to become better and not just trying to stay the same um, because we're probably unless we're trying to become better which requires energy and thought and intention staying the same is not really a thing because it actually takes energy to stay the same if you're not doing anything you're probably doing this <laughs> right so um, it's been interesting this year to do the low buy or no buy year. I would say that I have not succeeded with the no buy year, but I have definitely succeeded with the low buy year and the, the, the sad, starving consumer that I was in January of this last year. To fast forward 10 months to the, um, I mean, I'm not the same person. <laughs> I'm not perfect but I am not in the same state of mind that I was in January of last year. Um, I made a horrible video in January <laughs> showing you like all of the shoes that I bought. And I was right in the middle of a shopping addiction, which I couldn't admit that I was in. I was like, oh yeah, I'm like, you know, just putting the finishing touches on my wardrobe while I'm buying like 10 pairs of shoes. <laughs> uh, Cause they're all on sale and I, I need them. And it's so, it's so funny to be, it's so disturbing, but also amusing and funny to look back on myself from that period of time. And I'm so grateful that I'm not in that psychological state anymore. And I know so many of us are, and I've really been thinking about it as, um, like a, a person that's, that's really hungry and they keep eating this food that has no nutritional benefits to them at all it's like really not feeding their body to be just like eating all of this like empty food if you're really hungry you need to eat a real meal like you know have a steak or have um some scrambled i'll have like some scrambled eggs like with the uh, mushrooms and cheese and onions and toast and you know sausages and bacon and whatever it is that you want to eat like have a meal that you know will fill you up and i feel like it was the same thing with me um with this whole shopping thing i was we were it was the end of 2021 right it was just starting 2022 2021 was that year after the lockdowns of 2020 um where all of our lives really changed i think 2021 i had picked myself up by the bootstraps i in 2020 gained 25 pounds um, in 2020, I picked myself up by the bootstraps and started exercising, started eating healthier, 
started eating within a window of time, not eating all of the time, you know, the intermittent fasting thing. Lost 25 pounds, um, but still wasn't really practicing very much. Still um, didn't make much time for myself creatively. I was making time for myself with exercise and I could see the change that little baby steps of exercise and eating healthier and eating within a window of time helped me to change my body in a healthier way. Um, but I wasn't giving myself the creative nourishment and time that I needed, time to have artistic goals like a recital. So in 2022, one of the goals in January was for me to do a recital this year. And I just thought it would be one, but I did three. Um, one of the goals that I wanted to do this year, which I'm working on now, is doing this um, recording project playing outside. And I'm working on my recording studio, which is my music room, my music corner, and trying to figure out how to make the sound better. Um, and, you know, my other half and I are going out into the forest and recording things and just practicing doing things like that, which has been very interesting. And it's just been really nice to have this time to have creative goals and to have creative um, things that I'm doing because it kind of feeds my soul whereas before I felt very empty inside and I was feeding that hunger for something through buying things so it's just been there's a squirrel in the corner if you can hear but there's like little creatures there's all these leaves everywhere <laughs> they've all it's just so pretty it's so so pretty I know we all love fall so much but so what I'm saying is through me having these creative projects it's taken the myopic if that's the word I think that's the word focus it was like I'm looking at one thing it's taken that focus off of buying and consuming and having things make me feel like I'm a better person to actually doing something that helps my soul grow, that I find creatively stimulating, that is a project for myself to work at and work towards every day, and then to do that thing. And it's, um, it's really been awesome. This year, this month of October, I've also started a new project, which I am so excited about, and I will share more as time passes. But I never knew that this is something that I could do. I never thought that I would do something like this, but I'm so passionate about it. And I have been able to do something like this every day towards this goal. And it's just been so, so cool. So now I'm looking around at all of the things that I actually have over this last year. I've been looking around at the things that I have and I've been using them. And I've also been looking around at what I have and seeing what I actually really love that, it, that I have. And the things that I don't use or really aren't me anymore or were never me or because they were never worn um, or used, I've actually begun to sell. So that's been cool. I've started a Poshmark, which I'll link below. So if you're curious, <laughs> um, I have a little Poshmark. It's pumpkins cookie on Poshmark, which I'll link below. I have all these, all sorts of fabulous things, um, if you're curious. But anyway, so it's just been really neat to look around and at, at the things that I have and, and whittle down the things so that I, everything that I have is something that I really love and that I really use, and that's me. And that's also cool. That's also cool. So it's like, it's neat to, to also have a project of refinement, you know, refining, which is wonderful. And to not be just in this insane mindset of consuming. I'm so glad to be free of that. And I'm so grateful to have had these um, projects to work on. And it's made me a, a better person, <laughs> hopefully. I definitely seem like I'm different. I'm happier. I don't feel as frantic and as uh, grasping. It's like a, there was like a greedy person that was starving. They were greedy because they were really, really hungry and they just weren't getting nourished. So it's nice to be in a different place. So anyway, this next year, 
my other half and I have some special things ahead for us. And so I'm gonna continue on. I mean, I've, I've changed, so I'm in a different place, basically. Um, so I'm gonna continue onwards with this not buying of things, unless it's something that I really, really want, that I could see myself using and enjoying for many, many years to come. I'm gonna continue to refine what I have. I'm gonna continue to save because the um, financial goals that I wanted to have by the end of the year, I still haven't really achieved because life happens. Um, it's expensive. Income comes up, income com goes down. You know, projects sometimes cost money. <laughs> and then there's travel and then there's holidays and whatever. And so I just really haven't, I'm kind of just here. And so this next year, um, because of the things that I would like to achieve, I actually really do need to save. And so that's, that's going to be interesting too, is to just continue on and try to save more. So I'm grateful, grateful for, for this wonderful year. And if you're considering doing a low buy or a no buy year, you should try it out. It's really hard when you first begin because when you change something and you start to do things a little bit differently, it's different, it's hard, and it really requires your entire alignment to do the thing. You have to kind of fight against yourself when your impulse takes over because we're very impulsive. And part of growing up and our brain maturing and our, our cells maturing is to be less impulsive. And that takes, it just takes a lot of your will <laughs> to do that. But over time, it just becomes a thing that you do. And it's a beautiful, wonderful way to live, to just live a simple life. You don't need a whole lot of stuff to be happy. You really don't. Um, so with that, I guess I will wrap up. I'm gonna continue on with this magical Halloween walk. And thank you for listening. I hope this was interesting. I'm sure I forgot many things to talk to you about, um, in which case I will maybe continue on in December in a pile of snow with a snowman or something. <laughs> Anyways, happy Halloween, you guys. Lots of love. Thanks for coming on a walk with me. It's so pretty today. Look at this 